Kent State football player Matt Barr was back in Hardin County last week for spring break. And the former Kenton Wildcat made the most of his time sharing with the FCA groups at his alma mater and also Hardin Northern. During his first college class last summer, Matt was faced to a similar challenge that was seen in the movie God's Not Dead. When I walked in, the teacher kind of made a comment about how uh, Christians were taking over the world and pushing us in the wrong spot. And it, it kind of shocked me. I wasn't really ready for it, wasn't ready for that to happen. So I didn't say much. And throughout the course, I didn't do a lot to defend the faith. But when I came back from school, uh, I talked to my pastor. I talked to uh, my principal and said, just what should I do? And they gave me some great advice to stand up and to take my stand for faith. And then the last project, I did a project on the Christian movement and how it's impacting the world for the better. And the professor actually emailed me back the next week and said, uh, I don't agree with everything you say, which was fine, but uh, she said, I will be cheering for number 29 on the field, and uh, you did a great job defending your faith, and I can see that you're very passionate about it. We have a great FCA group up there. A lot of football players go, so there's always a solid uh, background and people to have my back up there in my faith. That faith has been built through the good and the bad. I had a lot of success growing up through playing football at Kenton and stuff, but uh, the loss kind of brings you back down because I think when you're winning, the biggest thing is God kind of gets pushed to the back burner, and uh, you don't always thank him for everything he's given you, but when you lose, he's often the first one we turn to. And I think it just, for me, it reaffirmed that what I was doing wasn't really that important, that his message and his mission was much more important and I needed to bring that back to the focus of my life. And with that focus comes a determination to make an impact during spring ball at Kent State. We are going from two and nine to greatness is our quote right now. And right now I'm just doing everything I can to give a good look on scout teams sometimes, uh, play special teams and be on the second string and just trying to work my way in there any way I can.